we are doing some um, scientific setups in uh, in order to prove our theories correct. Uh, in a sense, yeah. And also like quite surprised by the like depth and of like knowledge that Grindel had of um, the different concepts in it. The main concept that aids water movement in trees are capillary action, which is basically cohesion and addition and transpiration. The concept behind straws is that there's a pressure difference between the uh, between the straws and the atmospheric pressure. Uh, I really liked how Greensdale Secondary was able to present some of the more complicated concepts in simple language. Uh, they could have had better demonstrations, but they, they did have most of the relevant content down and they were able to clearly communicate how important that is in letting trees grow to that height. And up stepped Greendale Secondary. The main concept behind a prototype is the elastic potential energy of the balloon converts to kinetic energy of the water. The explanation is that the formula of elastic potential energy is half k square, x square, where k is a constant and x is the spring dis displacement, which is the balloon displacement in this case. Finally, a successful firing, three meters up the cloth. Green Dale stood out. Um, obviously, the, the water cannon worked the best, huh? but uh, what I also liked, um, they, they, they clearly uh, formulated uh, the, the key point, they used the minimum amount of water. Uh, the, the argument being, if you have the, the least uh, mass to accelerate, uh, it's, you need the least amount of energy. So while most cannons sputtered, Greendale Secondaries fired the highest, followed by Hua Chong Institution, who did well with their presentation. This sees both their schools moving through to the semi-finals.